Jones, uh, Director of Cinema Products for Dory. And I'll be telling you about our new product that will be shipping uh, Q1 of next year. Q1, okay. Uh, we're calling it the Internal Media Server. Uh, we're taking the digital cinema concept of the internal media block and uh, external storage and we're combining them into one unit. Yes. Uh, so, sir, the internal media server is right here. It is DCI compliant. In fact, we just recently passed our CTP on it, uh, compliance test procedure. Mm -hmm. So it combines the, ser the external server and the media block into one unit that is built into the projector. Right. We have uh, rated storage uh, up to two terabytes on board. Uh, the way three ways to ingest media: USB, eSATA, Gig Ethernet. Yep. We have external inputs of HDMI, HDSDI, and this is also 3G. Okay. HDSDI. Uh, the standard uh, data inputs and outputs for uh, working with automation systems, and your audio out. Got it. Up to 16 channels. Right. Also part of the safety spec. Yes. And all of the functionality that comes with any of our show playback units uh, through the through the web interface uh, are available. So you've got complete show listing. You've got the ability to add your automation cues. You've got scheduling. Um, all, all of the functionality you need to be able to operate this as a standalone unit in a, on a screen in a theater. Okay. Uh, some of the networking ability that's very useful and interesting is you have the ability through the UI to target other devices in the cinema, such as a show vault or a theater management system, yes. as a source for media. Okay. So if you don't want to use the USB or the eSATA as an ingest, you can ingest in your central system, and then you have the ability to tell the system through the UI where to go find new movies. Okay. Uh, I see. Okay. And by using also the HDMI, you can bring in alternative content. You can play a 2D or a 3D, 3D Blu-ray, no problem? Yes. Okay. So you'll market this as a standalone product under Do Re Mi brand, but you also OEM it to NEC and Barco for their new uh, .69 projectors, correct? correct? Correct. Okay. And they sell that as a package. Exactly. Okay. So uh, show me the, uh, t the, the interface here also. Okay, we're in the uh, editor right now. This is where you build your um, show playlists. So I just click on it, and it shows up over here. This this is the beginning of creating my playlist. Okay. Is drag and drop, or just click just, and just click? Just, yep. Okay. And then if I need if I need to put them out of order or change the order, yep. You highlight it. Click there. You move it up or move it down as you need. Okay. All right. Uh, and then when you're ready. This, you save, save it. Well, it's, it's wanting a login. Sure, uh, sure. And is is there also a uh, a mobile interface for this too? It it is not specifically di designed as a mobile, but it does work on both an Android and um, uh, iPad. Okay. And it's it's the interface that actually you go to our website. There's an interface you can download. I see. Okay. And if you bring that in. It works web based, just like this does. Right. Right. So, uh, actually, one of our one of our technicians has been using it. Wow. So we can, we can work it that way. Because this is web-based entirely in its interface, you can operate it from anywhere in the theater as long as you're on the Right. Wonderful. Thank you.